It doesn't get any better than Talis Leites and Gegard Mousasi, as the two top 10 middleweights are among the most experienced and skilled fighters in the game today. Brazil's Leites has been better than ever in recent years, winning five of his last six bouts since returning to the octagon in 2013. The fight starts on stand and have to be developing on stands and let's see what will happen. And he's a great fighter, he knows how to fight in all the situations, he showed this already, he has a lot of submissions, he's very dangerous on the ground too, his striking is amazing. Musasi has also been battling and beating the best winning two of his last three as he's knocked out Dan Henderson. Well, I believe he will go for takedowns to score points or just to get the submission. If you look at the Michael Bisping fight, he's grown and he's confident in his stand-up. But wherever the fight goes, I will take him down also if I can. So he will have to worry about my takedown. So he's not going to be able to rush and just be aggressive as much as he wants. The UK fans can expect me fighting forward. Doesn't matter what happens, fight with hard, ready for the battle and ready for the war. I train completely MMA. I'm not going to think he's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guy so I don't take him down. I'm going to take him down and uh, if it's necessary, finish him there. Having latest on his record, could be the ticket to the top five. Oh, oh, we get a wow. Submission victory for Gegard Mousasi here in Berlin. I training everything on stand, takedowns and ground game, cardio, everything. Mousasi is a great opponent and I've been watching his fight for a long time since the, the pride times. So I'm happy to be fighting against one of the best guys in the world. Tyler's latest come to fight. It could be dangerous because he's so well with his uh, hooks. Nice right hand there, beautiful. Two right hands. Oh, oh, this right hand hand there from Tyler's oh. This could be it. Wow! Another finish. That was amazing. That was exactly what Tyler's latest needed for this this career. Obviously, I feel like I have a lot better feeling for distance, and my stand-up is much better. It's difficult to finish. He's a tough opponent. I hope to give him a nightmare. I'm 100% of my capacity, mentally, physically, and everything. The main card for UFC Fight Night Silver and Bisping kicks off Saturday afternoon at 4pm Eastern, 1pm Pacific and only on UFC Fight Pass.